For fans of Claude Michel Schoenberg's musical Les Miserables, the Thenardiers are known as the Shakespearean comic relief, their various schemes and tricks being depicted in a frustrating yet tongue-in-cheek manner as they waltz through the musical trying to make a quick franc and inadvertently making life difficult for Jean Valjean as Javert. But in the original novel by Victor Hugo, Monsieur and Madame Thenardier serve a darker, less jocular role. Hugo makes it clear that it was their deceptions about their ward Cosette which forced her mother into poverty, prostitution, and eventual death. The Thenardiers force their two daughters to run scams on the streets and sell their younger sons to a neighbor so she can pass them off as her own as her actual sons had died and she wanted to continue collecting child support. It may come as a surprise to fans of the musical that their oldest son is Gavroche. Gavroche is familiar with his sister Eponine, but doesn't recognize his own brothers when he takes him into his care as he was abandoned and they were sold by their villainous parents. Even Eponine, who is depicted in the musical as a tragic figure with a miserable life and a one-sided love story, shows a more devious side in the book when she intends to have herself and Marius killed at the barricade so he will not end up with Cosette. The Thenardiers end the book as revolting and evil as they began. Although Madame Thenardier dies off screen, Monsieur Thenardier and his other daughter end up moving to America where it is stated they find work as slave traders.